Hello Booktube. While I was filming my last video, or an earlier version of it, um, I got a delivery from UPS. A few days ago, I ordered four volumes of manga. Uh, first step is um, volume four of the omnibus edition of One Piece by um, Aitoro Oda. This volume includes, includes volumes 10, 11, and 12. One Piece is the most popular manga in the world. It has been for over 20 years. One Piece is the story of a young man named Monkey D. Luffy who aspires to become King of the Pirates. Um, over the course of his adventures with his crew, he makes a name for himself, makes a lot of friends, makes a lot of enemies. I've been... Debating whether or not I should follow One Piece. Um, I enjoy it well enough, but I'm not entirely sure if I really want to. Um, and while I'd initially thought of just reading the first three omnibus editions, the first nine volumes, um, volume four of the omnibus edition has been quite difficult to find. It um, goes out of print or um, its availability becomes quite difficult um, rather frequently. And I saw that Amazon had some in stock, so I went ahead and bought this fourth volume, which I will be reading tomorrow. Um, I also picked up uh, three uh, first volumes of series that I would like to try to see if I want to follow these volumes as well. So first up is Dr. Stone, Volume 1, story by Riichi, uh, or by Riichiro Inagaki and um, Boichi. So, imagine waking to a world where every last human has been mysteriously turned to stone. One fateful day, all of humanity was petrified by a blinding flash of light. After several millennia, high schooler Taiju awakens and finds himself lost in a world of statues. However, he's not alone. His science-loving friend Senku's been up and running for a few months, and he's got a grand plan in mind to kickstart civilization with the power of science. Uh, next up is Dan to Dan, Volume 1 by Yukinobu Tatsu. Momo Ayase strikes up an unusual friendship with her school's UFO fanatic, whom she nicknames Okarun. Because he has a name that is not to be said aloud, while Momo believes in spirits, she thinks aliens are nothing but nonsense. Her new friend, meanwhile, thinks the exact opposite. To settle matters, the two set out to prove each other wrong. Momo to a UFO hotspot and Okoran to a haunted tunnel. What unfolds next is a beautiful story of young love and oddly horny aliens and spirits. And finally, a twin star exorcist, um, volume one by Yoshiaki Tsukeno. Rokuro dreams of becoming anything but an exorcist. Then a mysterious Binio turns up. The pair are dubbed the Twin Star Exorcists and learn they are fated to marry. Can Rokuro escape both fates? When Rokuro's best friend Ryogo goes missing, Rokuro is forced to ask Binio for help to enter Magano the realm of the evil Kigare, to rescue him. So, yeah. So those were the four volumes of manga I picked up in my latest Amazon order. There'll be another um, manga haul sometime next week because I ordered uh, one another volume of um, Nabari no O. And I also took advantage of a 25% off sale at PALS um, and picked up six volumes of manga and 
one play. And those should come in either later this week or, well, really should be early next week, probably Tuesday, depending on um, UPS's mail innovation. So, again, for this haul, Twin Star Exorcist Volume 1. Dan to Dan, Volume 1. Dr. Stone, Volume 1. And these three volumes I'll probably read sometime in March because I think I'm going to devote some of my manga reading in March to uh, first volumes. And One Piece Omnibus Volume 4. So in your booktube, that's it for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow with uh, weekly reads and maybe... One of my numerous um, videos about my library and how I want to change things up. I was thinking for a few days this week to move my manga and history shelves again, but I don't quite know for sure if I'm going to do that. Anyway, booktube, I will see you tomorrow. So until then, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.